Welcome back. Look at this forest. I can't find my way, Jeremy. Where I'm are you? I'm going to have to leave breadcrumbs you know, to get back to Metro <laughs> East because I'm just stuck in the forest, Kelly. Oh, it's beautiful. We're here with Christina Shellhart, and she wants to brag on the artist that painted this, and as well you should. Yes, her name is Katie Hopkins, and we came up with a vision for all of this. Actually, as they're lined up with the camera, if you line up straight in one of these trees, it lines up right in the one in back of it, and as you walk, it moves like you're in 3D. So this is the very beginning sneak peek of what is going to be a 120-foot Missouri mural. So this is going to do a lot. It's going to go to the end of the concrete? We've done the forest. Then we're going to go into a Missouri farm. So there's going to be a farmhouse in the back. There's going to be cattle. There'll be turkey. There's going to be a tomato plant. There'll be a cornfield. And on the very end, we have Missouri Mercantile coming in. They're going to carry about 25 local vendors in there, including eggs, bread. So you'll be able to grab that every day when the cargoes are open. And then she's also going to do a soap refill station out here. And she's going to do bulk spices. So that, she's going all the way to the end. We're going to put like an old fruit stand we're going to paint on there, Katie is. And it'll say uh, Metro Mercantile. I love that. So wait, you nice. said this is 3D. So do I need to walk along it and, and feel like it's 3D? Okay, you where? up straight with each tree and then okay. walk. Walk, okay, I'm gonna start over here Line and start with the tree, and with come the tree. Down and you'll see it move. Okay, and you just walk. Look at the tree, focus on each tree. See oh my gosh, that's kind of trippy. Behind you? Yes, it's trippy. Now, I, I love it. I'm gonna have to look at that later because I'm not okay. Sure, I understand. I love it. So <laughs> that's crazy. Mean, it, it just looks like you're in the forest, isn't it? We lined up the back trees with all of these trees, so once oh. they become green until you get right on it, you won't know that you're not looking back into the woods. And then she did a river. I, it's, it's, you know, I think helps it, the little ridges of the container yeah. gives it that 3D effect yeah. because it's not just flat. It yes. kind of gives it movement. It's incredible. So she's going to have other little things coming in here like turkey because we have turkey on the property. We have deer. We actually have a little Missouri bobcat too in the very back. Ooh, really? Cute. It looks like a little dog. Missouri bobcats have long tails. He's about 40 pounds. My Pretty goodness. Cool. That is cool. So we're industry and we're forest. Right. And, and you, I know you love nature and you love forest. And speaking of, we're not going to go back there today, but remember we were back there where the little outdoor theater is going to be with the blinds and mm -hmm. you can have rent a blind. How is it going back there? Has anything changed back there? Or? We're going to be moving into that next. What I have done out there is we had gravel back there and we've put some, uh, we found some great big telephone poles back there. We also have a whole bunch of concrete uh, sewer cisterns that were chipped and then we're going to crush them. So we kept them, we lined those up back there. And what I want to do for homeschoolers and artists, you're going to be able to bring the kids in and have a painting class on those. Mm -hmm. You're also going to be able to paint the back side of the container. So imagine if you have a homeschool classroom or just a classroom of 40, the kids would have to decide on a subject, something historical or something fun to learn. They'd have their own little space so they can be creative, but they also need to work as a big team. And then they can invite their family out, walk down the back and look at it. The next month, we paint over it. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Bringing the community in again. I love this so much. Christina, you're, thank you for doing what you've done for the city, honestly. I, I just, I didn't know what else to do with all I hope the city appreciates done. you. I think they do, and I, I know hope my vendors better. do. I'll write a letter if I have to. <laughs> Farmers market vendors for a long time have wanted um, a bigger venue and with the indoor venue, and that's what really sets us apart. In the 90 degree and in the winter, we have indoor, so that's And great. we are on the west side, but I, I would come here from any part of the Ozarks to come here. You know, of course. I love your location, but it's for everybody here on the Ozarks. Christina, thank you so much. And we we're going to see you. a lot more of you yeah. today. And by the way, guys, we have so much more fun, including the food. Uh, the vendors from Metro Eats the grand opening today on West Sunshine. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We'll be back. I gotta check this out.